Hello, this is Lachimi Kantiwari. Today we are going to start a new video series on Android Oreo programming. So in this tutorial we are going to first learn how to grant permission to your application. In a native Android it's difficult to code that permission but here we are going to use a library it is known as a text library and uh, you need to add that library into the build.gradle file and let's sync it. While it is syncing, let me tell you more about the Dexter library. It will make you feel better and it will also help you to code faster while uh, granting a permission to your application. In a native Android, that's the very difficult and that's the also error prone to grant a permission to your application. So here we will be uh, modifying two uh, files, activity main.xml and main activity.java. So let's first start working with the activity main.xml file and by default if you see it is selected as the constraint layout I'm going to change this to the relative layout. Once we change it to the relative layout let's remove this text view and I am going to put here two button under the linear layout and this linear layout the width of this linear layout is going to be the match parent and also the height match parent so that it can match to the full width and also I am providing here the margin to the 100 dp 100 dp margin means it will provide left right bottom and top margin to the 100 dp Android orientation is vertical that means the, those two button will be fit on vertically that means one upon another one and the layout uh, center horizontal is the true so the first button in the first button it is button camera and the text is camera permission and the similarly I'm going to copy this uh, before I put this layout margin 16 dp then I'm going to copy this button and uh, then I'll paste it and then I'll change uh, the ID of this button it would be the button storage and also the text of this button it will be storage permission and uh, now we are done with this XML file. Let's move to the main activity that Java. And also we are going to use here the pixel 2. And uh, if you see into the pixel 2, there are two buttons there. Okay. That was useless. Just remove that. Now let's close that XML file and I'm gonna open this main activity that Java file. So first of all that we have to refer these two buttons so let's declare these two buttons with the private button and then button camera and button storage and after declaring those two buttons we need to get the reference of these two button so the button camera by casting button find v by id r dot id oh sorry it will be the capital r r dot id dot button camera and then button storage and type cost would be the button and then find v by it r dot id dot button storage and of course the type cost would be the button here and now uh, we are going to add a listener to the button camera and the button storage so for the listener we are going to add btn camera dot set on click listener and then new on click listener right it will automatically uh, add override function on click weave so on click weave we are going to add a uh, add a new uh, method so before that let's uh, create uh, that method which we will add in this in uh, on click weave so that is the request camera permission okay perfect now let's create second on click listener that is for the button storage so the button storage dot set on click listener and then we are going to add a, a method that will request for the permission to the storage so the request storage permission and let's create that method to here private wired request storage permission now let's add a, a code to the request camera permission using dexter library so first of all that we have to start with the dexter Dexter dot 
with activity and this that means we are going to use texture in this activity with permission of the manifest dot permission dot camera that's when we are going to access camera permission in this code so dot with listener new permission listener it will automatically add a code a big code and then we are going to call a method that's the open camera when permission is granted then definitely we can open a camera and if permission is denied then we need to open a new setting so let's call another method show settings dialog and now in the third method third override method on permission rational um, that uh, we can add there the token dot continue permission request okay so once permission is granted it will continue now let's add these two methods open camera and the show settings dialog so let's first add the show setting dialog and then private wired open camera Now in this show setting dialog, uh, we will be using a alert dialog box to show the settings. So if a permission is denied, then it will show this alert dialog box and the user can directly go into the app permission, uh, app settings permission and uh, then user can change the uh, permission to the application. So here builder dot set title need permission and then builder dot message. So we are going to show here some message and the message is this app needs permission to use this feature. Okay. And you can grant this, this from app settings. Perfect. Now the builder dot set positive button. So in the positive button. Uh, the text ID is the go to setting and now we need to add here the on click listener so that on click listener will be added here a new dialog interface dot on click listener so on click of the positive button it will cancel the dialog and it will open the setting right now we will add another method for opening set uh, for setting opening and uh, now let's add the negative button builder dot set negative button and the text id for this negative button would be the cancel and uh, here on click it will cancel this dialog that's mean if a user don't want to see uh, app permission setting okay and now we are going to show this builder that's the alert dialog okay builder dot show it will show that alert dialog box now open setting we need to also set this uh, uh, we need to also write this method open setting so let's start with the private wired open settings so in open setting we need to open an application settings so the intent intent equal to the new intent so in a new intent we are uh, we want application setting so settings dot action application detail settings so it will particularly open application settings not your android setting so uri uri equal to the uri dot from parts that's the package and uh, then from this package we need to get package and of course that package uh, have to be in a double quote so let's make it into double quote otherwise um, it will not work so now error is gone now the intent setting uh, intent dot the set data we are going to set the data uri to the intent and then we are going to start this intent so the start activity and we are going to pass this intent okay we can pass some uh, here the optional parameters but i think we do not need so let's remove this optional parameters okay it will otherwise unnecessarily it will add some headache 
now for the open camera we need to start the open uh, uh, camera intent so the intent intent is equal to the new intent and uh, here we need to start the media um, uh, media store dot action action image capture now the start activity for regent intent and of course uh, on activity intent results we can set here the 100 however we do not need here for this application for this demo purpose that request i think we are almost done uh, let's finish this request storage permission and after that we will be finished so we have done with uh, our open camera permission now let's uh, do with the request storage permission here we can show the texture dot with the activity that's when we are going to use this texture in this activity with the permission of uh, read external read external drive manifest dot permission dot read external storage and then we need to get also the permission manifest dot permission dot read uh, sorry here we need to uh, add write permission okay so the right external storage and also we want a fine storage location sorry a fine location so we need here the access fine course location okay and uh, now here we need a listener but i think one thing we are missing here since it includes multiple permission we need to sit there with permissions right otherwise it will not work earlier we had said that with permission but as um, this is uh, asking for the multiple permissions so there we need uh, with permissions and then with listener a multiple permission listener so on permission checked so if all permission is granted so that will come into the report variable so report dot are all permission granted if all permission is granted then we can show a text a toast with you which will say that our permission granted and if any of these permission is not granted then we can once again set a if condition report is any permission permanently denied then in that case also we can open a, a setting dialog from where user can manually once again provide some permission and see what are the permissions which is uh, provided to the which is granted to the application and then finally token dot continue permission request and now let's also add here the error handling listener so with error listener a permission request error listener we are going to show here toast main activity dot this and in the toast error occurred while uh, granting permission and uh, now on same thread let's check this also permission i think uh, we are almost done with this uh, application so let's start with the pixel 2 i am using here uh, uh, emulator software emulator so there is error if you see there there is error program type already present so this error occur uh, this error uh, is common in android 3.1 sorry android studio 3.1 so for removing this error you need to come into the build.grader in that we need to add a design library so let's add that design library 27.1.0 and once again sync it and let's reload it and once you sync it and reload it error will be gone so this error is a commonly reported error don't worry about that this will be gone Now let's wait for a few seconds it will automatically load the application into the emulator so in emulator i am running uh, google's pixel 2 uh, which is um, loaded with the 
एंड्रॉयड ओरियो सो ये एप्लीकेशन इज ओपन नाउ लेट्स क्लिक द कैमरा परमिशन सो इफ यू सी दैमरा परमिशन इज डिनाइड ऑटोमेटिकली एंड इट इज आस्किंग टू ओपन एप्लीकेशन सेटिंग्स सो फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन सी देर इज नो परमिशन ग्रांटेड टू दिस एप्लीकेशन एंड देर आर मेनी अदर थिंग्स विच यू कैन सी एंड इवन इफ वी इफ यू सी देयर देर इज नो परमिशन ओके लेट्स कम बैक टू फॉर द स्टोरेज परमिशन एंड वंस अगेन इफ यू प्रेस ऑन द स्टोरेज परमिशन इट इज ऑटोमेटिकली डिनाइड so you know why uh, it is being denied there is one problem with this application which i intentionally left and i was uh, wanted to remind you what is the problem so the problem is that we have not added permission into android manifest file okay so first we need to add a permission into android manifest file so let's add a permission into the android manifest file you just permission permission for the camera is granted and then we need um, three more permission and uh, the another permission is for read external storage and um, then another permission is write external storage and last permission which we need we need access find location perfect now let's uh, instant run this application and it is being installed on a pixel 2 once it is installed the screen will be automatically refreshed now it is installed and uh, let's see how it is working camera permission perfect it is working perfectly allow and also camera needs location so it's allow and next here entering into the camera mode and now you can see camera mode is enabled into your android emulator now let's see storage permission perfect it is working perfectly great now you have successfully used a library known as the dexter and um, thank you for watching